there you are, Lily. I wanted to ask you about, why, Lily child, have you been crying? Whatever is the matter, dear? Oh, Grandma, it's nothing. Now, Lily, I can see how upset you are. Please, won't you let me help? Well, Grandmama, uh, princesses are supposed to be beautiful and graceful and talented, and I'm ugly and clumsy and I can't do anything right. What? Why, Lily, none of that is true. Where did you get such ridiculous ideas? Oh, Grandmama, you're so lovely. You wouldn't understand. Wouldn't I? <laughs> When I was your age, I was skinny as a scarecrow. I had huge ears. My teeth were too big for my mouth, and uh, my feet were enormous. I tripped over everything and stubbed every toe on both feet. Really? Wow! To make it worse, I had two sisters who were dainty and cute and everything a princess is expected to be. Oh, no! Well, how did you overcome it all, Great Grandmama? Well, I eventually grew into my ears and teeth and feet, and with practice became more graceful. But that wasn't the most important change. Um, what do you mean, Grandmama? Well, you see, little princess, I had an aunt, my papa's youngest sister, Violet, whom I absolutely adored. I'd never noticed until... I overheard a neighboring prince say that that Violet was, well, um, not easy to look at. Oh, dear, do you mean? Well, I believe the comment that was made was that she looked more like a monkey than a princess. Oh, my, your poor aunt. After I heard that, I looked closely at her and saw that she wasn't beautiful in the, um, expected princess way. I wondered why I hadn't noticed before, and then I soon saw that Violet had something much better. Better than beauty? Oh, I didn't say she wasn't beautiful. She was the most beautiful person I've ever known. Um, but you just said, well, you see, dear, Aunt Violet seemed to glow from within with the love and joy and peace that God gives his children. She was intelligent and kind and wise. I finally understood that while we didn't get to choose our physical attributes, uh, we can, with God's help, acquire Violet's kind of beauty. We don't need to worry about the expected princess beauty one way or the other because worrying about it won't change anything. Hmm, well, I can see your point, Grandmama. And our Father in heaven, in his word, in 1 Timothy 2, 9 and 10, and 1 Peter 3, 3 and 4, talks about our inner beauty being more important than the outer trappings. God talks about all that? Oh, yes. And in the Old Testament book of Esther, there's another example. Um, I haven't read that book yet. No? Well, the short version is that the king of Persia had all the beautiful young ladies rounded up to build up his harem. He then provided every imaginable cosmetic for them and lovely clothes. A year later, he chose one of them to be his new queen. A young Jewish girl named Esther was chosen, but when complete disaster was impending, it was not Esther's beauty, but her love of her people and God, her cunning, her courage, and her wisdom who saved her people. Wow! I need to read that book. You should. It's one of my favorites. I'll suggest it to your Uncle Eldon as part of your curriculum, along with Psalms 139, 13, which tells us that God knit us together while we were still in our mother's wombs. Child, God created you, and he does not make mistakes. He's given you a glorious head of curly red hair, and don't worry, you'll grow into adulthood as a lovely uh, young lady. But remember, real beauty comes from within, and I can already see it growing in you. You have a kind heart and a gentle spirit, and you are wise beyond your years. 
Oh, well, thank you, Grandmama. Uh, you've helped me so much. Oh, but whatever happened to Princess Violet? Oh, she eventually married to a kind older king who had been widowed. Uh, he loves her dearly, as does she him, and he greatly uh, appreciates her inner beauty and wisdom. They have four grown children. Oh, that's a wonderful story, Grandmama. Uh, I feel much better now. Good. Now I need for you, Lily, to help me plan the menu and the games for the picnic. Why don't we go and talk over tea? Oh, I love that. Um, uh, can we have some of those good cherry tarts with our tea, too? <laughs> uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Come along. <laughs>